How is everybody doing this morning? This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And let's give him some praise this morning. Amen. So nice to see so many people in the house this morning. Uh, we've got a lot of things going on around the world that we need to pray for today. Amen. But let's get started with some praise and worship this morning. You may sit or you may stand. <laughs> the small hand clap this morning. Just a little small. You don't even have to be hard. Just to get you in the mood and in the groove. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Hallelujah. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. And we'll give thanks unto the Lord for He is good. Yes, He is good. We'll give thanks unto the Lord for He is good. Yes, He is good. All the 
time. And all the time he's good. All right, Carmelita, what we got this morning? What page is that again? To God be the glory. You said what now? I don't think they do. They do not. Do y'all have copies? No. We're going to do to God be the glory. They didn't give out copies this time. But that's all right. We're going to sing it anyhow. I'll lead y'all. Amen. We do have vegetables in the back, uh, just a few, peppers and, and what? Tomatoes, tomatoes, amen. No hollows. <laughs> no hollows. At this particular time, it is, uh, it is time for our scripture reading this morning. And I would like to ask Sister Joyce Rents to come forward. Good morning. Good morning. Our scripture this morning will be coming from the New Testament, uh, the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, and I'll be reading from verse 10 through 20. The whole armor of God. Amen. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day. 
and having done everything, to stand firm. Stand, therefore, and fasten the belt of truth around your waist, and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all of these, take the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, mm -hmm. which is the word of God. Pray in the spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. Pray also for me, so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it boldly as I must speak. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. Thanks be to God. Amen. It's prayer time at Lakeside this morning. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. We used to say you can come down to the altar, but you can pray right where you are right now. Amen? Let us pray. Most gracious and loving Father, once again we come before you in your heavenly presence knowing and realizing that we're going to hear a word from you, Lord, and not from us. So, Lord, if you don't mind, just come down and let your word be heard. Let your Holy Spirit just rule and run down on and rain down on these people this morning. Lord, we want to thank you this morning for being the great God that you are. Lord, we want to thank you this morning for your grace and for your mercy, Lord. Lord, we want to thank you this morning for your faithfulness. And Lord, we want to thank you for all the marvelous things that you have done in our lives, Lord. But most of all, we want to thank you for sending your one and only Son, Jesus Christ, to die upon a cross, set off so that an old sinner like me could have life and have life in its, in, in its abundance, Lord. We thank you for giving us second chances, amen. We thank you for being in our lives and watching over us and watching over our families as we slept last night, Lord. Lord, you didn't let any harm come to them. But Lord, there are those around the country and around the world that are struggling right now, Lord, and they need you. They need your healing hand to come upon them, Lord. Lord, we're dealing with the floods that are going on right now in West Nashville. Lord, if you would just comfort those that need comforting this morning. Lord, heal those that need healing this morning. Some people, Lord, have lost it all. Lord, we're dealing with wildfires out in California, Lord. If you would just be with those people, Lord, and provide them the type of safe haven that they need this morning. And then there are those around the country in Afghanistan, Lord, that are struggling, struggling to get out. They just want to get out, Lord, and come home, Lord, in a crazy old mixed up world. And then here on our own home front, we're dealing still with this pandemic, Lord. 
Lord, we ask that you would be with those that are making those wise decisions this morning that affect each and every one of us. Still be with those frontline defenders, Lord. We need those people, Lord. Give them the strength. Give them the courage to keep on keeping on and pushing on, Lord, even though things just don't look right at all. Lord, we thank you for the teachers this morning. And we have a few of those within our midst this morning. We just want to say thank you for your service. Thank you for all that you do. As we try to educate our children, as they say our children are the future. So Lord, be with those teachers as they help instruct during some very difficult times. Lord, we just want to say thank you for our families, Lord, and watching over each and every one of us. Thank you for the relationships uh, that we have, Lord. Help us to be faithful to one another. But most of all, help us to love one another, Lord. You said it in your word. Love one another as I have loved you, Lord. So we thank you for all of these great, wonderful things, Lord. And we thank you for this awesome church that we have an opportunity to come to every, every single Sunday, Lord, and give you worship and praise and say hallelujah and glory to your name. All those wonderful things, Lord, we thank you for. And we thank you for all the fellowship that we get a chance to do when we're with each other. Lord, bless our church. Lord, and we ask that you would bless our pastor, Pastor Randy B. Kelly, as he comes forth and brings the word this morning. We pray that you're, you would use his mouth as a mouthpiece for you, Lord. And we just pray that his word will be heard and that you would move all the distractions out of the room so he can make his word plain, your word plain and clear. So that the believers of the word would have the faith to do something about it once they hear it. We pray all these prayers in Jesus' name, and with thanksgiving we pray. Amen. Little tender kindness towards me, great is your mercies toward me, great is your grace. give God a hand clap of praise this morning and say hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to your name this morning. Glory to your name this morning. As we prepare for Pastor Randy B. Kelly, we want to usher in the spirit with this particular song right here.
Tipping in others, and we thank all of those who take the time out and look at uh, our broadcast on Facebook as well as YouTube, and those of you who are here in present. Uh, present, thank God for you. Give the Lord a great big rousing round of praise for yourself. Amen. <laughs> Now, I want to look at a word from the book of Hebrews. Basically, it's a letter, a pistol, written at a time when believers was concerned about the return of Jesus. They were actually looking for the imminent return of Jesus but they were dying in the process. And so the writer here, many believe that it was Paul. Others believe that it was not Paul. But nevertheless, the writer's intentions is comforting the people and letting them know that Christ will be coming back. Amen? Amen. From the 11th chapter of Hebrews. I want to begin with just a segment of the pericope. A pericope is a group of related scriptures, but I just want to just lift a segment from it. It says, by faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness. He was righteous. God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. Reverend Weeks, by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God has translated him. But before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, mm -hmm. it is impossible to please yeah. God. That's right. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he, as a rewarder, of them that diligently seek him. Yeah. By faith Noah, being warned of God of things not seen, as yet moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by yeah. which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. Yeah. And I want to talk with you this morning from the subject, working your faith. Amen. Tell your neighbor, working your faith. Working your faith. It is interesting that Preston closed his prayer out uh, by uh, praying to God that the hearers will have faith to do something about what I say. Amen. Amen. And, and, and I want to be Get by saying we're thankful for having so many wonderful 
faithful members here at Lakeside. Amen. Amen. I see members here that work almost every day. Amen. 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 But in most churches, when the preacher preaches on giving, change, and working, it's just like saying bad words. <laughs> Although they bound to God to serve the Lord with their prayers, their presence, their gift, their service, their witness, yeah. that's what they promised to do. And even when other members joined, they promised to God that they would help them do the same thing. And this writer here is summarizing highlights of the great saints and prophets of old who made it into the kingdom of God. People like Abel who worshiped by faith. Abel, as you know, was the son of Adam. People like Enoch who worked, who walked by faith. And people like Noah, who I'm focusing on, who worked by faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. Faith and works are inseparable. Amen. They're intertwined. Without works, faith is just fake. <laughs> yes, sir. There's no real faith without works. Mm -hmm. Show me your works, and I'll show you your faith. Because the Bible says both prayer and faith is dead with our works. Both John Wesley and Jesus were reformers. And Wesley was known by his faith. Wesley was trying to change the church of England. And Jesus was trying to change the world. And as church folks who say we're following Jesus, we ought to be able to change something. Wesley's haters call his followers Methodists because they had a methodical way of doing things. Mm -hmm. Like Jesus, haters call his followers Christian. In fact, the Bible said they were first called Christian at Antioch. And it might be a news flash for you, but there's nothing wrong with fake faith if it's sincere and you have an open mind to do better. In recovery circles, there's a saying that fake it until you make it. Because in the Methodist church, we believe in stages of grace. We believe in prevenient grace. That's the grace that's running before us even when we don't know that God's grace is protecting us. Yes, then we have saint, uh, saving grace. And saving grace is like we're worshiping now or we're studying. But also there's sanctifying grace. When we're getting closer and closer to God, John Wesley said we're moving on as Christians to perfection. Yes, In the Methodist Church, there's a book called The Book of Social Concerns. We are called as preachers to preach out against racism, yeah. poverty, social injustice, just like Jesus did. Yeah. And that is faith that is not faith because the Bible says faith, again, without works is dead, but faith, faith does not require work because all you're doing it's just going through the motion. But real faith requires work. And that's why Jesus said, you shall know them by their fruits. Fruits are the byproduct of your faith. And I might need to tell somebody and remind others that we have the symbol of a cross surrounded by fire as Methodists. That is because John Wesley's father, Samuel Wesley, was a dissenter. He preached like the prophets of old. He preached against the Church of England, and he infuriated the ruling class because he frequently preached out against the oppression and mistreatment of the poor folk. And as a result, they set the church hostage on fire. And after the family had rushed out thinking everybody was had escaped the burning house. But a small child 
Samuel Wesley and Susanna Wesley child, John Wesley was still in the burning building looking out the window. And his mother, Susanna Wesley, had enough faith to run back into that burning building to save her child out of the fire. And although John Wesley had a lot of faith because his ministry began preaching in jails and prisons and, 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 and he frequently spoke out against racism and slavery in England, in America, and later when he returned back to England, in fact, he could have been killed in the process. And, but he wrote a book called Thoughts on Slavery, which was used by Frederick Douglass and the abolitionists. And the haters of today would have called that critical race theory. He continuously preached against slavery up until his dying day. And that's why many blacks joined the church because he fulfilled a need of black folks being free from slavery. And before Wesley died, he said, I have only one regret that I could describe this book, Thoughts on Slavery, this anti-slavery book throughout the entire world. But it was not until John Wesley was on a ship traveling to England from Georgia and the ship was caught in a terrible storm. And while he was terrified, he saw a preacher named Peter Bowler and a group of Moravians from Germany singing and praising God in the midst of the terrible storm. And when Wesley asked Peter Bowler how could they worship and sing like this in a storm, and then Peter Bowler told him, say, you have to have faith. He told him to preach faith till you have it and because you have it, preach it. And while John Wesley was going to a city named Aldersgate, he felt his heart strangely warm and he remembered his mother's faith in God that allowed her to run into that burning building and snatch him out the fire. That's why we got that symbol of that cross surrounded by the fire. Amen. And so it's all about faith. The writer of the book of Hebrew briefly summarizes the highlights of some of the great saints and prophets in the Bible who like Enoch walked by faith like Abel worshiped by faith like Noah who worked by faith. God had told Noah what was going to happen to the wicked if they did not straighten up and fly right. He said he was going to make it rain for 40 long days and 40 long nights and only the righteous would be saved. God told him to warn the people that they must repent yes. or perish for their sins and God commanded him to build an ark yes. in a time according to the biblical narrative it had never rained but they were like some of us today. We want God to build our ark, but God is not going to build our ark. God's job is to warn us, and it's our job to build it while we're waiting on God to do something for us. God is waiting on us to do something for ourselves. If you build it, God will bless it. But God won't bless no mess. Noah was, was, was not doubting. Noah was not criticizing. Noah obeyed God even though Noah was doubted. Noah was criticized. Noah was talked about probably by some fool. But it's always an honor to be called a fool by a fool. And, 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 and the others did not hear God, but Noah heard God. The others did not see God's vision, but Noah saw God's vision. Noah was able to keep on building for God in spite 
of the opposition. And when you have God on your side, you can work your faith. Because God's spirit will teach you. God's power will pound you. God's strength will sustain you. God's wisdom will guide you. God's eye will watch over you. God's ear will hear you. God's will will speak for you. God's hand will carry you through. God's love will prosper you and complete you if you work by faith. God bless you, the doors of the church open. Yeah. Those of you who desire, desire to join or rededicate yourselves, you can do so right now. Yeah. Tomorrow is not guaranteed Amen. to anyone. Amen. Jesus said it this way, I must work the work of him who sent me. For the night is coming yes. when no man can work. All right. We got to work it. In, 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 in a crowd of church folks, you always got three kinds. You got workers, you got some shirkers, and you got some jerkers. And you got way more shirkers than jerkers than your hair workers. But God wants us to be workers. The book says that the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Amen. Amen. I'm glad so many of you are here in service today. Uh, evidently, you didn't go to the Donald Trump rally yesterday. <laughs> Amen. If you went to the Donald Trump rally, I need the ushers to check your temperature uh, again on the way out. Amen. <laughs> I just like to, you know, joke and have, have fun. Amen. I don't believe in being sad. Amen. I believe in being joyful and optimistic. Amen. Amen. Love and life. You only have one life to live. Amen. Amen. It's precious. Make the most out of it. Let us stand if you will. Remember the life is not a spectator sport. Get in the game and play hard for God's sake. Don't let anybody beat you loving your people. And now to him who is able to present us. But keep us from falling and present us faultless before his throne of grace with power, majesty, dominion, now his forth and ever. Let us all say amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a great evening. I love amen. all of you. Bless you. I think you're trying to kill me with them hot peppers. <laughs> I think you're trying to kill me with them hot peppers. <laughs> See there? See there? See there? What happened? We, our juice? We lost our juice? No, I have forgotten to plug in the, the battery. And I just, I just, as a backup, I don't want the battery and the phone to die. And I had just forgotten to plug it in. So that just helps the battery? Yeah, it just helps it so the phone.